Hello friend, in this video lecture I am going to discuss about Pearson Correlation Tool in Alteryx. So here if you go on the data investigation, here you can see all different so, tools are there. So this video lecture I am going to discuss about the Pearson Correlation. So you need to click on this. Now here after you can get the definition so correlation after measure as a correlation coefficient p indicate the strength and the direction of a linear relationship between two or more random variables the pearson coefficient is obtained by dividing covariance of the selected variance by product of their standard deviation so let's understand by example. So first I'm going to use in and out tab and here you can see input data drag into the workflow. Now click on this drop down and uh, here you can connect with the data source, any data source, whatever you like or you can connect with files. So here you can uh, see the select files. So by clicking this you can easily select this file you can select. So I already used the file called AYXDB and this is the record. Now here after the next is go to data investigation. Drag here plot sorry not plot. drag pearson correlation now here after stabilize the link and here at least two field two valid field must be selected so let's select to demand and demand id so check the record demand id one two three four and demand had this all values now after doing this i want to display the value on Browse. So this is the output kind of type browse. So this data will go to browse. Now hereafter let's uh, run this workflow. It's uh, completed. If you click on this, so here you can get this is the all input. Now hereafter, so when I go at this place, so here it indicate the display value was rounded by 6 decimal so here this only go to 6 decimal so this all our input now here if i click on this so this is here result and this go to 6 decimal point now here after on this we can add multiple fields so let's include here supply id so supply id that i added so here this three is we can add more than two now if i click on this run and here it's uh, completed and uh, here you can see this is the after processing this is input here output now demand id one and here this value demand supply id and here this value is one and uh, supply id demand id demand and supply id now if i click on this so here it's a uh, processing and here you can see demand id demand supply id and here demand id this values are there demand this values and here this is the supply so with the help of this uh, pearson correlation so it obtained or uh, the pearson correlation is obtained by dividing the covariance of the selected variable by the product of their standard deviation so that it's uh, coming output like this so that we are using uh, pearson correlation so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you